All right, well, it is the next best thing to St. Patrick's Day. The Irish Fair in Minnesota is underway in St. Paul. And with contests like best legs in a kilt and the 0K race, there is plenty to do. And this morning, Holly Wagner is out there. And Holly, we saw some sheep. Are you going to do some wrangling? <laughs> I'm not, but somebody else is. Uh, that's one of the highlights out here at the Irish Fair. You were saying this, my, I think this is better than St. Patty's Day. There are so many things to see out here. I have Steve and Kathy from Hinkley that have a, a hobby of trading collies and herding sheep. I, Kathy, your wife here is gonna show us how this works, but I want you to describe to people what you're watching and what's so unique about it. Well, what you're seeing here is uh, staying our five-year-old male border collie, moving the livestock, and what's unique about these dogs are, is that they use the power of the eye to move their livestock. You see him get down in that nice low crouch and he make, to make eye contact with the sheep and draws them back in. Yeah, he's really, and you said that the sheep too, they have a, a wide peripheral. Yeah. A, a very wide peripheral and uh, much wider than yours and mine. And that's where the sheep can see the dog when they get up on their shoulder. How much of this is training and how much of it is just his natural instinct? I would say it's 50-50 because they, when they come from strong working lines like this, their instinct is very, very strong. And then it's just a matter of fine tuning it and getting them to control their sheep by listening to whistles and, vo and verbals. And how much time do you guys spend doing this and training the animal? Uh, to get Sting up to this level it takes about two years and that's working the dog go oh, three, four, maybe five times a week. Wow. at you know 10 15 minute increments okay. so it, it can get pretty intense it's all, it all bases on the weather too well certainly a lot of people will come down and see you today hey before uh, this has been so interesting to watch thank you so much steve thank we appreciate all. it but i got to come and show you uh, all of these oh, well it's the sheep <laughs> and the guys in kilts okay that's what we're going to transition to oh. matt had mentioned <laughs> matt had mentioned that there is a uh, a kilt contest today lisa give us the categories there is Grand Champion who wins a Highland Kilt Company kilt package. We have Best Chicken Legs, Hairiest Legs, Distinguished Gentleman, and Youth Competitor. Well, and I have to ask James. James, I've heard you've won a few, a few times in a row. Is that true? What's your trick? How do you win? I don't know why. What is it about your legs? Is it your kilt or your legs, buddy? My legs are just nuts. You got a cup. Oh, the growing up, they're just so furry and mine are skinny. Right, yours are not as furry, that's true, yes, yes. Well, good luck today. Uh, Matt, there's still time to enter if you want to enter the kilt contest until 2 o'clock today. And I've heard that it's a good thing that all these gentlemen are standing because I've heard there's at least one that doesn't have anything underneath, Ooh. so. Oh. TMI. Let's, uh, TMI there. Let's <laughs> not try to find out who it is. No. Thank you, Holly. No. <laughs> Hopefully the wind won't blow that direction. Yeah, we'll keep the wind down. <laughs> all right, make sure you stop by the pub stage at the Irish Fair of Minnesota for the Finnegan's Cocktail Competition. That's going to be judged by our very own Mike Augustinac. The making and shaking starts at 1230 and goes until 130.